Right, we're on. My name's Steve Johnson. So winter golf, we're at that time of the season. It's all a little bit, um, have a look around. It's all a little bit damp, a little bit dewy. It's not great at all. But what do we do? We still have to golf in the winter. But there's not much to play for. There's not much in the way of competitions. You've maybe got a weekly stable for it or something along those sort of lines. But that doesn't mean you can't practice your golf. So there's lots of good stuff you can still work on in the winter. Preferred lie, always take a preferred lie. Let me just wipe this on my towel. The reason you should always take a preferred lie is you never know what's underneath the golf ball. I mean, it might be look, look, lie might look good, might look nice and clean, but there's mud under the ball. Pick it up, take advantage of that opportunity. So I've hit a driver up here, I hit a little fade off the tee, and I've decided for this hole I'm going to hit fade all the way. So I'm going to play in a fashion that I'm going to play a hole, hit and fade all the way, which is this one, then draw all the way, then low shot all the way. That's going to allow me to practice my skills, practice my ball shaping, ball flight, um, trajectories in the winter when there's nothing else to play for. So fade with the driver up left hand side, I started it too far left and cut it back in which was fine. Didn't want to miss it to the right because there's a road and houses to the right so that's trouble. So I've left myself 180 yards here so we're not going to get much fade but I'm still going to try and set up to play a little fade shot because this is a shot I want to play for the whole hole. So I'm going to aim left. Club just a little bit left of target, feet further left and path going left of that. So I really want to try and get my path going left and my face open to that path. So taking practice swings to feel that motion. There's a little cutty wedge. Go. Good, so middle of the green. So my little cutty wedge there got me to the middle of the green. It's good this time of year, well this time of year is, we have to have some sort of focus on the golf course. The um, grass is soaking, feet are pretty wet, trousers are mucky. Um, you have to, I mean if you go out golfing with that in your mind then it's not going to be much fun. Let's have a, something to work on, let's have a purpose when we're out here. So let's shape some shots, let's get away from the, the dreariness of the weather and get into hitting some good golf shots. Let's try and turn this negative into a positive. So up at the green, you can see the state of the green being the time of year. Um, this is a little nine hole golf course on the borders, this is Melrose golf course. So I put my ball to the middle of the green. Um, green's covered in leaves and things. Do you know what this time of year, I'm not even bothered about putting. Green get aerated. What's the point in working on technique on these sort of things? Sure, work indoors. Um, if you've got some sort of facility like that that you can work on your putting, then yes, do that. But to be honest with you, on the course, just get on the green, take two putts and run away. Just a pair of pitch marks though, even though the greens aren't in good order. Doesn't mean we can't help our green staff out a little bit. So I played two fades. I hit target off the tee driver, albeit too far left, but I started it further left so I got away with it, still got the shape of shot I was after, so that for me is mission accomplished. Now, hit a little wedge from about 80-90 yards, fade, middle of the green, result, I was able to get the shape on the shot, even such a lofted club, because the shot had a purpose. Now, as I say, in the winter, if you hit fairway and hit green, take two putts and move on. Fade, fade. Putt, putt. Okay, so this is a good hole, par 349 yards. Excuse the noise of the cars going past the tees right beside the road, obviously. Today it's playing 154. I'm going to hit low. I'm going to try and hit a low ball here because that was the plan was to hit fade, then low, then draw. It's 
So my aim here, we're looking for a sort of stingery iron towards this crag. Set myself up, balls back in my stance. It's in a little bit. I've lowered myself a fraction. Play this low shot. Good. Squared that a little bit right of my intended target, but it's all right. The trajectory was good. It was a lot lower than the normal eight iron. Not sure I've hit target, but the objective was to bring the ball flight down. That's winter golf. Right, I have squared this a little bit right. Just show you where I am. So there's ball. There's flag. And the tee was back down in that line down there somewhere. Right, preferred lie done. Preferred lie done. So I was going to play this hole low all the way, I've missed the green to the right, I'm going to still play this low. It probably does require a shot with a little bit more elevation, but I've decided I'm playing this hole hole. Hole hole? Low. So I'm going to change, I've got my 54 degree wedge here. I'm going to change the loft, dynamic loft, that impact, by getting my hands further forward, my weight a little bit further forward, and I'm coming in there with a little bit less loft. Probably playing like a sort of nine iron, yet with the 54 degrees. So I'm pushing that 54 degrees down to sort of nine iron. But I'm still able to play a sort of confident shot because there is that feeling of playing a wedge as opposed to the nine iron. It's not going to release as much. So again, keeping it low is the objective of this hole. Just try and land it on that green. Let the green do its thing. There we go. Up to about three feet. Maybe three and a half. It's been raining. Right now we're hitting draw. Draw balls. I've had to just jump a couple of holes there because when you make these videos you uh, you have to navigate your way around the traffic that's on the golf course. That one other man that's on the golf course. Thanks for that mate. Right, draw. Let's shape it right to left. So hit and draw, I'm teeing up as far left from the tee as possible to aim it to the right and bring it back in to give myself more room. So if I'm teeing up on this side I've got the whole right hand side of the fairway to play. However, Having planned to hit fade, low shot, draw, three consecutive holes, and I've skipped a third hole, I've moved two holes forward because of somebody else on the golf course, this is actually dog legs left to right, so it's not designed for a draw at all. However, I'm committed to it, so I'm going for it. So I'm taking rescue. I would normally take driver, but I'm going to run out of fairway in this, cause this, this case because of this dog leg to the right, and I'm hitting it left, right to left. So I've taken rescue to hopefully hold the left side of the fairway. So now all of a sudden there's some course management coming into play as well. Who said winter golf's boring, eh? <coughs> Excuse me. So, practice swing, let's get this path going out to the right. Face left of path, but slightly right of target. Feel for that. I can feel that. Yes, my feet do point left. It's not really conventional for draw, but if you watch my Eureka videos, you'll understand why that is. I can hit right to left, my feet pointing to the left. I can hit left to right, my feet pointing to the left. And you can do it. It's all about what the face does impact. <coughs> there we go. So, draw ball. Path closed to face. Face closed to path, sorry. Do you see the draw on that? Here we go. Swing in right, face left. Good. Big high loopy draw with the rescue. Let's just nip back to the preferred lie thing for a second. So why would you not take a preferred lie? You've got this massive advantage of picking the ball up, cleaning it, Placing it within six inches, one scorecard, whatever if you have local rule, within six inches, 
no near the hole of where the ball originally lay. And that can only be an advantage. There's absolutely no excuse for anybody saying if they hit fairway they had a bad lie at this time of year. Take advantage of that. As I said before, you've no idea what's underneath the golf ball. There might be a worm cast underneath there, it might be covered in mud, the ball might be cracked, something like that. Certainly take advantage of that. Get a tee down, pick it up, clean it, and then sit it up. Prefer it. That's how I prefer it. Hey, there's my ball. There's the hole down there, so you can see this high looping three wood draw from back here, way up in there. It's hard to do this, way up in there. Has left me on the left hand side of the ferry, but that's fine. Am I happy with that? Yep, because this is the best side to be hit and draw from. Third lie's done. That's how I prefer it. 148 to the back edge. Or to the pin, pins at the back. <clears throat> Little down slope, there's gonna be a low draw. 148 coming out a bit squirty. Uh, wedge goes 140, 9 iron goes 150. We come out a bit long, get 9 iron. Okay, so 9 iron, squirty draw. Again, my focus here is path of club and faith relationship. Path of club and face relationship to that path in order to get that right to left curvature that I'm after. Just looked at both screens, did you see that? Right, pick target, there's a tree back right of the green. Swinging towards that, face close to it. <coughs> yeah, open to target, ball. Down slope, ball's further back in my stance here. Oh, it's good, it's a wee draw. It's big. It's big. I didn't quite get as much coverture as I wanted, and it flew off that. Um, fairways at this time of year, grass is a little bit longer, there's still a little bit of autumn growth on there. So when they do their final cut of the season, they still leave a little bit of length on there. So I got maybe a little bit of a flyer. But the strike was good. Went a little bit right to left, so it's good enough. So I'm back right of the green, it actually was up here and it's hopped backwards. I've taken preferred lie, I'm only one, two, two and a half paces off the green now, because it jumped back, but I'm still going to hit a draw. It's all about still hitting a draw, so I'm still trying to get this path going into out, and the face a little bit close to that, so it's going to come out low, and it's going to release, and it's going to run. Do you remember when Tiger made one of his comebacks, one of his many comebacks? and he was chunking wedges, just little chip shots all over the place and the commentators were talking about his release pattern, he was trying different release patterns what he was doing there was, he was trying to either have when he came through, he would have a full roll of the face full roll which makes the ball go low, he's basically swinging into out there it's going to run a lot more, he had a half roll so leading edge is now at 45 degrees, so the natural loft is going to come out and it's going to just come out like normal. Or he's got what's called a reverse roll, which is where the face is left wide open. And therefore there's more loft on it. So these were release patterns that Tiger was working on to try and change trajectory, trajectory of his little chips and pitches around the green. And he was struggling with that. So this here, I'm doing a full roll. I'm swinging into it out with full roll to get the ball to go low and run towards target. Draw, basically, into out with the face closing to the path. There we go, two feet. Happy with that. There we go. I'm going to give myself that one. So, guys, that's winter golf. That's how you can improve your golf during the winter. Let me just sort this out. There we go. Um, if you look at my feet, let's sort this camera out. My feet are filthy. My trousers are filthy. 
But who cares? I was out, I hit lots of little draw balls, that little fade balls, that little low balls. I had great fun. I don't care if I'm dirty. It's no longer a slog. There's now a little bit of purpose behind it. And I will, this summer, be a better player because of this approach to winter golf. Top corner. Click that. Also, loads of that. Hit thumbs up. If you've not subscribed to my channel already, please do so. Yeah. <laughs>